Welcome to Love Them Knives channel. Today we're going to talk about the San Ranmu 7096. Hey, thanks for joining me, LTK, here on the Love Them Knives channel. Hey, 7096, I got this from a San Ranmu group. They have this website called X Duck. They got all kinds of outdoor goods and different things, but they've got knives and flashlights and other kinds of things. Anyhow, they sent me this knife, which is the San Ranmu 7096. It's super inexpensive. It's like 15 bucks. And flip it. Come on, flick it, buddy. It's a steel frame lock knife. It's just a user that you can use around the house. That's what I do with mine. Flicks right out. You got the lanyard hole in the back. A little bit of a backspacer type thing going on. But a steel frame lock. But it's got Sandvik steel. So 12C, 27. And it's sharp. So this is an easy little carry easy use knife for around the house very inexpensive and fairly sharp out of the box like that and if you start actually cutting like you should yes it's sharp out of the box thank you very much appreciate that almost learned how to cut paper now i'm on to the next but yeah it's Open and close. It's not on bearings. It's on washers, but flicks right open. Not a very big knife. Small knife and fairly slender. Comes in this box down here, right here. Mm, not quite three inches, unless you measure down here behind the choil. So, okay. Uh, 73, four millimeter out here six and we're pushing to get to six and three quarter inches overall and 17 centimeters so what do we got going on for blade stock if we got three millimeter that's about all no 0.96 of an inch 2.4 millimeter blade stock let's see how fat this handle is not very Eight, little over eight millimeters, 0.32. So very slender, slender blade, flat grind, 12C27 steel. And oh, I'm sure you guys are all pretty excited about the tip down carry clip. Is that clip big enough? Is that clip big enough? That's big enough. Oh, well. Hey, you could just take that off and throw this knife in your pocket. I mean, under three inch blade, under seven inches overall length. And so what do you got for a, a handle? Three and seven eighths at best. So yeah, you could just throw that in your pocket and say to heck with that. Hey, you got a little lanyard hole. So in any case, but these are the kind that I have laying around the house. In case, you know, I want to open a box, cut a tag off something, cut a piece of string cord, something like that. I kind of leave these shooters around the house just to have them handy wherever I am. And so this is cool in that regard. The lockup is like 80% steel frame. Yeah, and here's the box that comes in. The 7096 quality assurance well you know and san ran Mu, look at that 1998 been around 20 years um if i can open a knife it'd be good there we go good looking knife how much does it weigh let's take a look Mm, 3.6 ounces so it's lighter than like the paramilitary 2 which is 3.8 like right over here fancy what do you think get on the scale yeah 3.8 but it's a lot smaller but it's all steel 
so you can see. Much smaller than the paramilitary too. So in that regard, easy to pocket, easy to carry. Don't even know why you got a pocket clip, but that could come in handy. It's a deep carry at least. So it's, it's that. And let's see what we got for grams. 103. So pretty light, even though it's steel. And you might check their page out. They've got other Sanran Moon knives. Check it out for price. I think their prices are really competitive with what I've seen anywhere else online. Uh, this knife I got in, uh, yeah, it ships from China. This one did at least. So I'm saying, I think it was eight to 10 days. It wasn't bad. It wasn't like two and a half, three weeks or any of that stuff that you get a lot of times from Gear Best or, you know, DH Gate, AliExpress, that kind of thing. So it seemed a little quicker. It's got a thumb stud right here on this side, but not on the other. But there's actually a cutaway for it on this side. Can't put it on that side, really. You ain't got room. But I just thought I'd run this by you. Uh, Sanran Mu, you know they're making the SRM series, which are all kinds of expensive knives compared to this. They're double or triple the price of this. Some of those SRM knives have 14C, 28N steel, and they're charging, uh, you know, over $40 for them. But they're right there competitive with the real steel and the rake knives and stuff like that. Might have one of these over here somewhere. This kind of stuff, SRM. So these are also San Ren Mu. This is not, this is 14C28N, the 106 series. So, I mean, you know, and they make the ra the real steel knives and they, of course, I think they make the rake knives too. Got stuff on the blade. But this is the 1005 series at the 9CR14. So this is 12C27 Sandvik. So 15 bucks. I'll prove it to you. Here it is, X-Duck. This is the link I'll give you to their site, $15.26. You buy uh, 12 of them, they're only uh, $13.98 a piece. There you go. Product is available in stock. Two and a half millimeter thickness, yes, that's right. SRM. Yeah. Excellent looking uh, knife. It's very simple design. There's no broken lines here. The blade disappears in the scales. So as far as a slender, kind of nice, easy gentleman's knife, I'd say yeah. And I haven't done anything. I didn't take it apart. I didn't put any lube on it. This is just it out of the box. That's it. So just thought I'd pass it on to you little folding knife. I mean, these budget knives are kind of cool to have around. Um, you know, can't all be proud carry stuff. And it comes in, you know, just sticks right in that little, little area, fitted area in this box. Cool knife. What do you think? I'll give you the link and you can uh, check it out on your own. But, uh, you know, if you like having a nice little budget knife hanging around, it's easy to pocket and use and you're not going to cry if you lose it there you go hey guys flanagan what are you doing laying down on the job isn't he all right guys hey thanks so much for joining us i mean it wasn't too uh terrific uh long thank god cutting it down to nine minutes wow what happened must be something wrong all right take care you know what we do around here we like them knives. We love them knives, actually. And budget knives are included in that. So you guys, stay sharp.